Yes. It's estimated that nearly one third of U.S. women will experience domestic violence in their lifetime, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The up and coming nonprofit group Paint the Basin Purple is hoping to put an end to this. CBS 7's Deanne Lopez attended the group's first ever event tonight at Tea to Go that was aimed at bringing awareness to the resources available for victims in the area. Deanne. Macy, Paint the Basin Purple is made up of four women who are all victims of domestic violence. Each one of them has their own story and resources that they use to help them get out of their frightening situations. And they're hoping to share those with other victims across the Permian Basin. The statistics for domestic violence is on an increase instead of a decrease. I think that that is a call to action for us to do something more than what we're doing because what we're doing isn't working. Audrey Whitley, Laura Dimery, Amy Staggs, and Tiffany Goff all make up Paint the Base in Purple and share similar frightening stories of being verbally and physically abused by the men they once loved. Um, he threatened my life twice. Um, put a knife to my chest, um, squirted a lighter fluid on me, was going to light me on fire in front of my kids. And after that, I knew I had to get out. Laura, like her three other partners, were scared, didn't know where to go or who to turn to for help, which is why they felt they needed to create a group where other victims could turn to to build relationships and get the right resources to help them get out of what they refer to as a vicious cycle of family violence. Had I had the early intervention and gone to counseling beforehand and gotten more help, then everything would have been all right. I would have been all right. Tiffany is not only a survivor, but lost her daughter Alexandria last summer. Alexandria was killed by her boyfriend, leaving Tiffany to raise their one-year-old daughter. And I promised my daughter after she had passed away, I, I told her, I said, you know what? I'm not going to let this in. It's not going to stop here. Which is why they are thinking outside of the box and holding monthly events at Tea to Go, hoping to reach and save as many lives as they can. Through this, we have all seen in our own ways um, varying degrees of restoration and hope and reconciliation, and we can prevent it, and that's the goal. All of the money raised from today and future events held at T2Go will be donated to local safe houses for domestic violence victims. Now come August, the group will be holding an even bigger event held with Break the Silence. You can learn more about that group on our website at cps7.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Deanne Lopez, CBS 7 News.